to establish a relationship between weights of a rectangular wooden block lying on a horizontal table and the minimum force required to just move it using a spring balance. According to Newton's second law of motion, the force acting on a body is directly proportional to the product of the mass of the body and the acceleration produced in the body by the application of the force. The acceleration takes place in the direction in which the force acts. Madam, why are we using Newton's second law of motion? Newton's second law of motion precisely explains the relationship between force and acceleration. Suppose a body of mass m is moving by the application of a force f, then the produced acceleration a will be directly proportional to the applied force. When an object slides on a surface, the force of friction occurs. This force of friction opposes the motion. The force of friction depends on the surface of contact. The object can move or slide on another surface only if the applied force is greater than the force of friction. The minimum force required to slide the object over the surface is called limiting force of friction. A spring balance can be used to measure the force required to move the object or the limiting force of friction. Let's do an experiment to establish a relationship between weights of a rectangular wooden block lying on a horizontal table and the minimum force required to just move it using a spring balance. Our aim here is to establish relationship between the weight of a rectangular wooden block lying on a horizontal table and the minimum force required to just move it using a spring balance. The materials required are a rectangular wooden block with a hook, a table, thread and a spring balance. Procedure Ensure that the tabletop is kept horizontally. Find the least count and range of the given spring balance. Also, ensure that the pointer of the spring balance is at zero mark. Measure the mass of the given wooden block. Place the wooden block on the horizontal tabletop. Tie one end of the thread to the wooden block and its other end to the hook of the spring balance. Ensure that the length of the thread should be such that the spring balance could be held at one end of the table top. While the wooden block is kept near the other end of the horizontal table top. Hold the thread and the spring balance horizontally while the force is applied on the wooden block. Gently start pulling the spring balance while keeping the whole assembly horizontal. Does the wooden block start moving? No, it means that the force of friction between the wooden block and the table top is greater than the applied force. Gradually increase the force till the wooden block begins to move on the horizontal table top. Observe that the spring balance shows a larger value just before the wooden block begins to move. The maximum reading of the spring balance gives the value of limiting force of friction. Note down the maximum reading of the spring balance. Repeat steps 6 to 11 with blocks of different weights and record the variations in the observations. Observations Least count of the spring balance is equal to x gram weight or x kilogram weight. Range of the spring balance is equal to x gram weight to y gram weight. Acceleration due to gravity at the place g is equal to x meter per second square. Mass of wooden block m is equal to x kilogram. 
weight of the wooden block w is equal to mg is equal to x kilogram meter per second square or x newton result the minimum force required to slide the given wooden block on the horizontal table top called the force of limiting friction is x newton the body starts moving in the direction of force applied when the applied force is greater than the force of friction precautions the zero error of spring balance should be considered the table should be smooth and horizontal the thread used should be inextensible thank you ma'am for this knowledgeable experiment